Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Exploring, what is this place called? Harris? Harris Scarf. You know, better start off the vlog interesting. Do, Harris Scarf. I'm exploring a new, a new spot that apparently is a little bit better than Target here, question mark? Okay, this is fun. Do you want to be in the video? Hi, everyone. <laughs> this is one of the flatmates I always drag to coffee. What's this for? This is for YouTube. Oh my god, yes, I forgot you have YouTube. <laughs> Shit. Supportive, we love. You know, it's fine, I'll just talk to my phone by myself then. Oh, I'm sorry, what do you want? <laughs> no, it's fine, I didn't have anything to say. We're looking for a step stool because I'm short. Four dollars, that's not bad. I mean, this place is really bigger than I thought. It's a little bit cheaper than five dollars for one. Yeah, so if at Target, uh, mine it was like four or five dollars for a whole thing, but like five dollars for one. Or if you just go to Target, you can get a whole bunch for five dollars. Oh, O M G! Imagine making our G and T's out of this, <laughs> even though it's a martini glass. Okay, I feel like we also probably should buy something to make our G and T's in instead of wine. <laughs> Continues to make G&Ts in a wine glass. Vote in the comments. Should we upgrade? <laughs> to make our gin and tonics. This is a nice one. Well, how expensive is this? That one's cute. How much is it? Oh, it's in a pack? Yeah, it's a pack of two. Um, $40. Yeah, no, thank you. Sorry, we are we don't have that kind of money. Update, no step stool here, but this literally is the same drying rack we got the other day and it's $120. Oh my god, I'm getting old. Oh, like one of the gadgets. Oh, let's look at the coffee gadgets. Pretty cheap for a mocha pot. Are you talking to me? No, kind of. I mean, if you want to listen, I'll talk to you. If not, I'll just continue to talk to myself. It's fine, I'm used to it. Oh my gosh, let's just um, be bougie and get a pick pick pick. <laughs> Look at the cutlery set. Oh my gosh. Well, it's like spring back home in the States, and so I'm like, ah. The next day now, I forgot to show this gorgeous shell that I got at Long Beach in Saney Bay in the last vlog. Also, shout out, finally did my nails because they were disgusting. But this is so cute. And even more exciting, actually, is did end up finding a step stool. Literally took forever to find a step stool on this island. I wanted one that was plastic, preferably collapsible, to reach like all the high shelves because I'm really short. And it just took forever to find one. And it was like a random store on Elizabeth Street that my flatmate ended up finding one in. And I was like, are you serious? Yes, please get it. Yeah, like we checked the spot yesterday, Harvey, Harvey, Harvey Scarves. <laughs> it's all good. Um, tar what was the name of the store we went to? Harvey Scarves? Harris Scarf. Harris? Yeah. Harris Scarf. Probably say Harris Scarf. Okay, thanks. Um, Target, Reject Shop, Woolies, Kohl's, Kmart, random stores. <laughs> Like, Kmart had a fancy wooden one that literally was, like, so short. Uh, anyway, so that was very exciting. What? I was just updating. I just forgot the name of the place. I was talking about the step stool. She's like, you're crazy. Yep. Is this gonna balance? Is it even working? Okay, I'll just hold it. Um, my plan today on this gloriously gloomy and smoky Wednesday is I am going to head to a cafe, probably Audrey. I do really like um, working at Audrey over in Rosny to get working to get work done. That's quite redundant. Okay, no, we're just going to keep holding the camera. I thought I could figure out a way that I wouldn't have to hold it, but um, nope, still didn't get a tripod because... Similar to the step stool, they're either non-existent, super expensive, or out of stock. So, we're just gonna keep holding the camera. Um, yeah, I have to prep for a presentation next week. Uh, it's on Zoom though, which I'm kind of bummed about because I feel like giving seminars or like presentations in person, like, you know, 
I'm a very like passionate, excitable talker, like in presentations and, and whatnot. Um, uh, anyway, I have to prep for that, um, send an update to my research supervisor, um, but send an email to a bunch of top research people that I'm collaborating with and I'm terrified. Uh, I've been putting off sending this email because I'm scared of what they have to say. <laughs> I'm like in a really fragile mental state today that I just, if, um, if I get any criticism, I think I'll sob on the floor. So let me send that email and, um, you know, at least I'm aware of my fragile mental state. This line of trees is so pretty. And we are back again at Audrey. I think that was such a productive like hour in the cafe. Uh, someone just stared at me. I get vlog shy at in public in the reject shop now. I'm gonna go check on the puzzle situation and um, see if there's any other random things that I don't need but that I pick up. So thanks again for everyone who recommended here for puzzles. Yeah, <laughs> literally have, do we have this one? No, we don't. We have this one. We have this one. Ah, oh my gosh. No, that one does not look fun. Okay, let me look through these. so gloomy out today just got back from rosny oh gosh this is like okay that's good to know because if this like breaks while i'm using it i'm gonna be pissed so i ended up just getting one puzzle at the reject shop i thought this one could be quite fun it's like different than some of the other ones that we've gotten um i wanted just like very regular lighters i could only find at woolies a while ago little bic lighters um but yeah, just for candles. Oh, got some juice at Kohl's. Never had boost juice and everyone always raves about it. Really exciting stuff. I needed some more hand soap and I needed some Q-tips, cotton swabs, whatever you want to call them. Oh, cotton tips, geez, okay. And yeah, this is so exciting. <laughs> Such a random assortment of things that I needed. I mentioned it on Instagram, but I don't think I mentioned it on here. The I was at Zima last week with one of my flatmates and um, ran into the owner. He was just like asking how the coffee was. And anyway, long story short, gave us a tour of the roastery and gave me some coffee because I post about them and stuff on Instagram. And yeah, super nice. So he uh, gave me this one. Also, they just got new packaging for their filter coffee because I haven't tried their filter coffee at home yet because online, as of now, they're doing a filter coffee rebrand. You can only buy their espresso, but yeah. So I thought this was cool um, to try. And then also this Ethiopia as well. But yeah, I love the packaging. I also love to support local roasters. So I'm happy to finally be having their stuff at home. This is on their batch brew when I went last time. I don't love Zima's atmosphere to get work done. Um, I have gone to work there a couple times. Like it's not as bright in the area as Audrey, but definitely is a lot closer to me. I don't know if it's because I'm not from here and I'm not used to the whole hot cross bun train, but I don't know exactly if I'm ready to let it die. I still have, I, this is the same pack that I was trying to get through in the last video. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like enjoying having the options. It's like such a weird angle right now. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's just because I've been deprived so many years because like they really aren't a thing at all in states But I also don't remember them being this big of a thing when I was lived in New Zealand. I don't know I, bleh. Anyway, what I've been doing lately is um, They turn out really nice if you put some butter on them or Buttery spread in my case and then you put them back in the oven and it melts the butter a little bit more and I forget if I mentioned it, but by far my favorite hot cross buns that I did have throughout my hot cross bun experience here in Tasmania 
was Jackman and McRoss here in Hobart. They have a couple locations, the bakery. Their coffee's not great, but their hot cross buns are really good. And their buns were dairy-free minus the cross on top. But I really liked them because I just found that they had more flavor, like there was more fruit in them. So if you didn't really like a lot of fruit, then maybe they wouldn't be the ones for you. But I really enjoyed them. And they were essentially the winner of my lab meeting's hot cross bun off. And um, yeah, so I'll fresh had them last week or the week before and I snagged them and I'm so happy that I did because they were so, so bomb. now i don't love this angle but like i don't know where to put you got back from work just made some lunch see i'm like so short i'm only 5 3. <laughs> um i'm going to grab coffee with a friend who i met through instagram at coffee nuts we met once before and she's super sweet so i'm really excited to see her again she was on the mainland for a bit, but we're gonna try Crow's Nest in North Hobart and I'm quite excited. Just have to pick what props I'm bringing. Let's see. You know, I always like to bring an assortment of flat lay props for when I go to cafes. I never know what I'm in the mood for. So I normally bring like books and stuff. Maybe I'll bring my glasses. Do, do, do. Things are falling. Okay, let's get ready. <laughs> so here's another, I guess, here's another view of what I'm bringing. I can't do this with my left hand. I am right-handed all the way. Question of the day, are you right-handed or left-handed? Um, yeah, I've been liking to use like Tasmanian featured things. So these are like random tourist brochures. I have a couple different Tassie things in here. Notebooks for layering, books, things like that, so yeah. I normally don't go with this much, but I don't really know what I'm in the mood to put together 